you see here is a, is a helium balloon, and we're, we're driving, and we have, um, we, we want to do an experiment, we want to see what happens to this balloon when we accelerate or decelerate or go around a turn. Um, common sense, just looking at it, would say that this would move backwards when we accelerate and move forwards when we decelerate. However, there's some different physics that's happening here. Um, very interesting thing. It's the principle of buoyancy. What's going to happen when, you, when I go around this turn up here is that the balloon is actually going to come towards you, the camera. Um, I'm turning right. And it's, it's interesting, and the reason why that is, I'll explain in a moment. Uh, it says no turn on red here, so I can't turn. There we go. All right, watch the balloon. Accelerating forward and to the right. Now you notice the balloon came towards you, right? which is kind of contrary to what you would think it would do. Now I'm, just, I'm letting off the gas, so now we're just cruising on regular, just kind of going along, going around another turn here. And I'm going to accelerate in a moment to get up to highway speed. Okay. Ready? Notice the balloon creeping forward. moving at the speed I was going, and suddenly, now I'm stopping it. So now I'm acting a force, see I'm accelerating here, trying to turn to the right, letting off the accelerator, accelerating. Of course, since I don't have a V8 in here, you don't see this as much, but there we go. Now we're coming up to a, a light that's uh, gonna be turning red here, so I'm gonna accelerate fairly rapidly. You can see what's happening here, constant deceleration, sort of. The balloon goes way back. And this is because, like I said, the air is now all crowding to the front of the car because it wanted to stay moving where it was going, right? And when it wanted to stay where it was going, it pushed the balloon, because it all crowded to the front of the car, it's pushing the balloon back to where there's less air, or the air is less dense. So that's what's happening here. Um, pretty interesting. I, I'm willing to bet that you didn't know, uh, or just thinking about it, that's not what you would have thought would have happened. But, um, like physics does a lot of times, it, uh, it challenges our, our thinking, and sometimes what, what we see, what we think we perceive, is not really what's happening. So, that's our experiment. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope I get a full, full credit on this. Okay, so I'm gonna accelerate very rapidly here from a stop position, as you can see. Ready? See what happens to this balloon? You know why that's happening? Is because the air is being pushed to the back of the car. And I'm gonna go around a turn. You're gonna see what's gonna happen when I go around a turn. It's gonna boom, it's gonna come towards you. For the same reason, all the air is rushing to the left side of the car 
And so it's more dense over here. And when it's more dense over here, it's less dense over there. So the balloon is going to where there's less there's less air, if you will. I'd like to do a couple other things here with this. We're gonna go around a nice turn again. I'm gonna go around a left turn. Well, starting with a right turn and then going around this left turn here. Oh, my zoom. My arm. See how it's coming towards me like this? Now, the interesting thing is gonna be to see is when is if I take a regular balloon and fill it with regular air. So let's do that. Okay, so here you can see I've got a pink balloon, and this has regular air in it because it's not it's not floating like the helium balloon is, is floating upwards, right? Um, so this has a, a substance that's um, a gas that's lighter than the air, um, or less dense really, and this has just air in it. I blew it up with my breath, so carbon dioxide, right? Um, so what's going to happen when I accelerate here is you're going to see this one is going to move with the air in the car. This one, because it's more it's buoyant, is going to move forward because all the air is going to move back, and this is going to move back with all that air, and this is going to move forward. So this is this is kind of interesting. Check this out. All right, I'm going to accelerate here. You see what happened? And I'm not touching it. Okay, I'm going to hit my brake. You'll see the, the other one goes forward. Okay. Hitting the gas, accelerate. Okay. I'm not manipulating these in any way. This is this is all physics right here. Um, very interesting things. Now you can see when I go around a turn here, to the left, the pink balloon, which is full of air, is going to the right. The yellow balloon, which has helium in it, is going to the left. And you're you're going to see this happen again when I come up to this turn up here, turning to the left. Look at that. Now, like I said, I'm not doing anything here. I'm driving with my knee. Okay. Don't do this at home. Um, when I hit my brake to decelerate, we should see the the opposite effect happen. Right? So when I hit my gas it goes like that. When I hit my brake, it goes like that. Very interesting thing. I bet you didn't realize that this is happening inside of your car as you're driving along. All the air is being scrunched to the back of your car. Now, be willing to bet if you put an an altimeter back there, and an altimeter up here, you would notice a difference in pressure. All right, let's do this some more. Oh man, I wish I had like a V8 acceleration here. Well, it's still a good point. Accelerating. kids running out in the road in front of us, so we gotta stop. Oh, it's that purple balloon. Oh, hey, Sarah. That purple balloon has air in it. We're learning from an experiment here, Sarah, that when we accelerate forward in a closed cabin like this, air rushes to the back of the cabin, which causes the, the yellow balloon, which is lighter than the air, to move forward, and the purple balloon, which has the same weight as the air, or the same density as the air, to move backward with the air. So we get this effect when we slow down, the yellow balloon acts contrary to the purple balloon, the pink balloon there. Go around a turn, same thing happens. Even a little acceleration can change this too. If you notice these things are sitting, you can get these things sitting fairly still. Okay. Sarah, you can have them when daddy's done with the experiment, honey, okay? We're gonna accelerate just a small amount here. Stopped. Okay, we just gave a little quick jerk to the gas, and that's what happened to these balloons. Very interesting. So that was our experiment. I hope you enjoyed it. Looking forward to doing the next experiment like this. I hope this video turns out well, and I hope you can hear me well. That, that is pretty cool.